Good morning. Oh, I got on my uh, croaky voice this morning. Um, <laughs> let's take a break and see if I can adjust that. <laughs> well, I'm back. I don't know how much water helped, but anyway. <laughs> Today's meditation. I was thinking it's, it's not that often that we... we get to talk to celebrities, you know, kings and uh, presidents and movie stars, uh, sport that leads giants, but it does occur, it does occur, uh, maybe sometimes fleetingly, and oh, we tell everyone, <laughs> oh, you know who I saw, yeah, I spoke to him, <laughs> but, but this is a bigger planet that uh, we imagine and uh, more important things are even there and before I get to a reference verse I would like to read uh, maybe the first 10 verses of uh, Jeremiah 33 and it begins by saying moreover the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the second time while he was yet set up in the court of the prison saying thus said the Lord that the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. For thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city, and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but it is to fill them with the dead bodies of men whom I have slain in my anger and in my fury. And for all those wickedness I have hid my face from this city. Behold, I will bring it health and cure. I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return, and will build them as at the first. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, whereby they have sinned against me, and I will pardon all their iniquities, whereby they have sinned, and whereby they have transgressed against me. <laughs> this is the great God Almighty now. Speaking to Jeremiah, guess where he was? Locked up in prison. <laughs> God is awesome. He will communicate. He communicates with you and I. All you have to do is call on him. <laughs> so anyway, Spurgeon expounds on verse 3 that says, I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. And he expounds. There are different translations of these words. One version renders it, I will show thee great and fortified things. Another, great and reserved things. Now, there are reserved and special things in Christian experience. All the developments of spiritual life are not alike easy of attainment. They are the common frames and feelings of repentance and faith, and joy, and hope, which are enjoyed by the entire family. But there is an upper realm of rapture, of communion, and conscious union with Christ, which is far from being the common dwelling place of believers. We have not all the high privilege of John to lean upon Jesus' bosom, nor of Paul, to be caught up into the third heaven. There are heights in experimental knowledge of the things of God, which the eagle's eye of acumen and philosophic thought hath never seen. God alone can bear us there, but the chariot in which he takes us up and the fiery steeds with which that chariot is dragged are prevailing prayers. Prevailing prayer is victorious over the God of mercy.
by his strength he had power with God yea he had power over the angel and prevailed he wept and made supplication unto him he found him in Bethel and there he spake with us prevailing prayer takes the Christian to Carmel and enables him to cover heaven with clouds of blessings and earth with floods of mercy prevailing prayer bears a Christian aloft to Pisgah and shows him the inheritance reserved it elevates us to Tabor and transfigures us till in the likeness of his Lord as he is so are we also in this world if you would reach to something higher than ordinary groveling experience look to the rock that is higher than you and gaze with the eye of fate through the window of importunate prayer when you open the window on your side it will not be bolted on the other yes yes God says I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not Oh God Almighty, how oh blessed is your reign. How blessed is your heights and your depths and that you would commune with even me. Oh God be praised. I hope you enjoy the reading and the exposition. This is Michael saying and declaring Jesus is Lord. Have yourself a blessed day. Till we meet again.